The what? The plane, the plane. Fantasy Island, no? All right. Tease, uh, the cloud today. Our main objectives is to define the cloud and describe its purpose and what allows us to do, explain how IT professionals might use knowledge of cloud to support clients. Describe the differences between SAS, PaaS, and IAS, really is SAAS, and PAAS, and IAAS. You have to enunciate every letter. Contrast the different cloud types, including private, public, and hybrids, even community clouds. Explain the role of security that, when it comes to storing information within the cloud. Next slide, four. Someone define there in their own words, what is the cloud? Essentially, it's just like a big, maybe like a big server. Okay, um, yeah. Um, it just holds a bunch of storage and different, it can host different like, um, different things. Yeah, the cloud is on the internet usually, or it could be private depending on the organization's feeling. But uh, as you can see here from the matrix on the slide five, what if I told you the cloud is just someone else's computer, as he just alluded to. It's not really a up in a cloud, it's on the actual server somewhere, somehow. Amazon obviously provides cloud servicing and there's many other ones out there that are providing these types of services. Yeah, can you help me with slide six, please? Said who? Christina. The cloud definition. Cloud computing is a model for enabling convenient on-demand network access to a shared pool of configurable computing resources. Examples, network servers, storage applications and services that can be rapidly provisioned and released within minimal management effort or service provider interaction. Key facts. The cloud is cheaper than owning the entire infrastructure. While the cloud provides many answers to doing more business for a low cost, never leave the security up to the provider. Be sure to create backups of the data regularly continuing to protect the integrity of the data. Windows has built in cloud storage feature called OneDrive. It can be accessed from any device by simply logging into the account. Thank you. As we see in my computer here, I have, we have this one here, this one, this one here. <coughs> At OneDrive, when I log in, I can actually go compared to my computer here. So the OneDrive will have all, the information that's synced, you can see the little cloud figure here, and the ones that are pending to sync or has a little check mark when it's finished syncing all the information. With ease, as a state, you can log into another computer with your ID and password and log on to your cloud account. Any questions? Who else has cloud that I can go and get my files and different stuff that's not OneDrive? Google, Dropbox. Google uh, Drive. There's a lot. Google Drive is out there, right? There's a lot of Apple. different uh, that one. Um, cloud services, depending what you want, obviously. IT professionals should be able to know what they are and to hopefully make suggestions of which one is most cost effective and to help in the design of uh, an infrastructure. They need to be able to organ, uh, to recognize these things. Obviously, sometimes the actual higher ends or the specialists may come up with, with the ultimate uh, solution, but they need to be able to uh, at least understand what it is and how it works. Any questions? So there's I, A, A, S, infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as 
a service. All of them are AAS, as a service. Three flavors depending on how you want to do it. Anybody know what's the main difference between infrastructure, platform, and software? I kind of. Sometimes I mix up um, platform with uh, software. Okay. Would it be like, <clears throat> like the platform would be like your phone, the software would be the OS, and then the infrastructure, the infrastructure would be like what it connects to, like the world? Okay. Uh, not, not, uh, I'm, I'm not sure it would be that type of description, but we can look at it in, in this way from, from the top to the bottom infrastructure as a service means you build out everything. So Amazon will give you a GUI. You could create a firewall. You can create a server. You can create whatever you want in this virtual environment. You are fully responsible for your virtual environment. If you have a server in there, you've got to patch the server. You've got to do everything about it. As for the appliance itself, where the virtual machine or that cloud machine is being placed into, they will, the physical machine, they'll take care of that. They'll make sure they maintain that. That's all them. But as for the, the virtual part of it, you must maintain everything. You must create everything. The next level is platform as a service. Now they'll create the infrastructure itself, but you are responsible for the actual coding. One of these, as we've seen is, for instance, when you post uh, your, your application in a Windows store or something like that, where everything is there and they let you just install there, right? It's housed through them through their network, everything is to them, but you're, you give the code to the provider. You're responsible for the application. Now, software as a service, that you can consider Gmail. That's software as a service. I can't touch it, can't do anything. It's a software, it's in the cloud. I can't change the code or its function. There's nothing that I do. Gmail is, Google is fully responsible for it, Hotmail, Microsoft is fully responsible for it. Yahoo Mail, that's theirs. Google Drive, same thing. Software as a service. It's a bundled service. I can't do anything except for what it is. So you can always think about how much am I going to be touching or doing. So here's your cloud service model. So vendors basically provide the whole data center to make sure that they have the HVAC system, electricity, power backup, everything. You don't have to worry about the physical computer itself or, or the network, none of that stuff. The physical, we're talking about physical, not virtual now. So all of that is great because now you can just concentrate on what you want. You can build it out on the cookie center that we're about to decide in, in the thing. Obviously, uh, the pros is you only pay for what you want. And the cons is it requires network ma management ex expertise. If you don't know what you're doing and you don't know how to do these things and you create and you buy yourself the cheap or the, the one that's fully infrastructure as a service and you don't know how to do it, you're not gonna be able to do it. Obviously, you're not gonna be able to create the whole full network. You're not gonna be able to create proxy. You're not gonna be able to secure yourself. So you gotta make sure what type of service you want. And on what is infrastructure as a service, this is all you get. You only get the actual physical hardware. You got to build out everything else. You want to become a web server, you got to build out that web server. You got to post everything in there, all the coding. Everything is done by you in that virtual machine. Any questions in reference, in reference to infrastructure as a service? So all you get is the bare bones machines with a GUI to a hypervisor, basically, that allows you to create virtual machines. From there, you use whatever you want and you pay as you go. Questions, doubts on an IAAS. Next slide, cloud as a service model for platform as a service. This now, you still, 
like I said, you only add more. So the, the, the more you go, the more services you have. You retain everything that you had in infrastructure as a service. You still got the hardware, physical hardware. On top of this, it, it has already an operating system where all your developers can develop software on top of it. The vendor provides and manages all hardware and development software platforms. So it gives them a GUI where they can actually put and post their, um, their stuff. As you see here, uh, Microsoft Azure or Amazon Web Services are a cloud service that has platform as a service. It facilitates, obviously, developing software without having to manage the actual hardware. I don't have to care about anymore if I have a public IP, any of that stuff. That's in there. Prego. No direct control of infrastructure is the bad thing there. Obviously, if you want to create some stuff and uh, redundancy or any of that stuff, you're just with what they give you. Obviously, most of these places have so many servers that are redundant that they guarantee pretty much that it, you're not going down. Once again, it's up to you if you want to really put all your eggs in one basket and if it, somehow Microsoft Azure or Amazon gets hacked, and that's up to you. It's all you. Next slide, we have slide 11 is software as a service. This is where the vendor, again, adds another layer. So he already gave you the layer of the infrastructure. He's giving you the layer of the platform. But now on top of that, he is fully controlling it. You can't touch the software. They are the ones that are maintaining the software and manage the software. You are completely hands off. You use it as is. Dropbox, Google Docs, Gmail, uh, Outlook.com or whatever that is, 365, I don't know what you want to call it. All those are cloud service, which is software as a service. Obviously, some people, obviously, uh, some of them cost money. Some of these applications that are uh, software as a service, just like in platform as a service, it all depends on what you want. Questions? All right. Number one, the provider takes care of hardware and software and client receives a user's password. What is that? Is that platform, infrastructure, or software as a service? Wait, I'm confused. What are, um, software. We are in uh, in the next slide, which is 12. Everyone agrees software as a service with uh, Christina? I agree. Okay. Sorry, I, I was a little bit confused what's going on right now. Uh, we're on slide, slide 12. 12. We're on slide 12, looking at slide 12, and we're trying to fill up the boxes, fill up the blanks. Okay. All right. So on slide 12, uh, Christina said the first one is S-A-A-S, -A -A -S, and I had one yay. Any nays? Everyone agree that software as a service? I, What's the next wait, one? Wait, software as a... Wait, hold on. Where take care of hardware and software, and the client receives a user and password to use the service. I, for some reason, I feel like that's infrastructure, right? Okay. Let me read the rest. Mm -hmm. What's the next one? Let's look at the next one. The provider provides the hardware and the client is in charge of ma managing everything. Oh, okay. Then that would be infrastructure because you can manage whatever you want, right? Yep. So that's infrastructure as a service. Uh, what's the uh, third one? The provider manages hardware and software development tools for the client to build new software. That would be a platform, right? Platform as a service? That is correct. Because you have control over the software, right? That's correct. Everyone understand the variance between the three flavors of ice cream? Full screen? I kind of get it. I, I'm always confused when I see quite like questions about um, these. 
Yeah, the easiest thing to look for is, am I doing everything? Yes, then that's infrastructure as a service. Am I only building the software or the code? Then that would be platform as a service. If I'm not touching anything and all I'm doing is logging on to the service and using it, that's software as a service. I, just, I can't touch anything except for use it as is. Number or slide 13, sorry. We can have a brave soul that can help me with slide setting. Cloud facts exercise. This service model includes Google Mail. To the service model will be most okay. like. All right, so, 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 that, so, that. so the first one is this service model includes Google Mail. What do you guys think that is? Software. Email. Okay, I got software. And then I got what? So software as a service so far. I got. Anyone want to ring in? Is it is it I A A S P A A S or S A A S? Which one is Google Mail? Gmail. That's So wait, no, I read this. So, which one is it? Infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, or software as a service? Software. Okay, software, I got two votes for software. Everyone agree that is software as a service? So when I go to uh, Google Mail, I can actually go and change the, the uh, code or does it stay the same? Stay the same. This service model, I'm sorry, who was reading? Go ahead, who was reading? So we all agree with software as a service, right? Yeah. All right. The service model would be most closely associated, associated with the web hosting provider. Um, virtual machine. Yeah, they're all virtual machines, I agree. So what the service model would be most closely associated with a web hosting provider. Like what is it, links? What's it called? Would be Go Daddies or whatever they're called. I don't know what they're called. A whole bunch of those out there. I would say I would say it would be a platform for websites. So because the the um, this one I think is platform, right? Because if it's associated with a web hosting, that means you're using its platform to host it, right? And you can change it however you want. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. If we look at it very closely, yeah, all it's doing is just hosting my site, but I will be giving him my code, right? I gotta give him my code so he can host the site, but I'm not I'm gonna use his appliance as a web server. I would agree that is platform as a service. Okay, number Next three. Problem. Mm -hmm. In this system model, the vendor provides the entire solution, including operating system, infrastructure, software, and application. So in that case, the, the vendor is providing the entire solution. So that's going to be interesting. IAS? Yes. I agree. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, that's definitely it. Infrastructure. Everybody agrees that's infrastructure? Yeah, no, maybe. Yes. Okay, let's see. We're on number three, right? Uh, the thing is P, P, A, A, A. Considering yeah. that the vendor is doing the operator. Wait. Wait, what's number one? Four? Well, actually, we three. three. The again, vendor's first. Uh, yeah, it's not hardware. Hardware. I just realized that. So then, then it's going to be. Um, SAS. Oh, no, wait. No, the, I think it's a platform. Yes, 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 PS. Yeah, because it doesn't say hardware. It tricks you when it says infrastructure software, but it's not a hardware. Yeah. Huh? It is hardware. What are you talking about? Here, this one? It's giving you everything. The entire solution. The means everything, right? Everything, everything, everything including the application. Uh, okay. That's, okay, that's what I, okay, so that is it. That's SAAS, software as a service, that's Gmail. All right, number four. Wait, I'm confused with that one. That's uh, SAAS? The Hello. model, the vendor, right? The cloud vendor is giving me the entire solution, including the OS, the infrastructure, and the application that I'm using. And can I give them uh, coding to change anything? Can I decide to put a new proxy server? Can I add five routers and 16 new servers? No. Oh, okay, I get it, because it says provide. I thought it was giving power to the user. It's all the way around. Number four and three next time. Or in this system model, a vendor will provide a hardware platform that the company will install and manage its own operating system and applications. Okay, so what's number four? Is that, is that a platform? I think that one's the hardware one because they have to install the operating system. So Which they have access the to the hardware. You're getting me confused. Which one is hardware? All of them get the the infrastructure. infrastructure, I think. Yeah. I think it's platform. More platform as an as a service. Okay, we got because some. they're just giving you the they're just giving you the hardware, but you the whoever the client is has to manage it. Yeah, so infrastructure, the vendor always just provides you the hardware, and the client installs it, manages its own operating system. So, so which one is it? So which it one is it? IAS. Platform. 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 Yeah, platform. I really don't get this. I don't get it, no. No, no it's good that we don't get it because making our brain think about it, hopefully we can look at it real good and, and look at number four. So what's he giving me? He's giving you the hardware. Hardware. And the manager. Is he giving me anything else? They're giving you the availability to manage your own operating system. And no, 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 no. What, what's he giving me? What he has he given me? He's only giving me this. That's all he's giving me. I have to do this. This is me. Not that he's giving me the ability. That is so my response. You. That's my, oh, I'm not sharing again. Okay. But like, if you're doing something to the screen, we kind of can't see it. You can't I see, can see it. Oh, there you go. Okay. I see now. Never mind. All right, so um, the key word here is the vendor's only providing me with the hardware. I am responsible, the company, to, not that it that is, is giving me this and that. No, no, no. My job to do is to install everything else. That's infrastructure, bare bones, as simple as that. It, they only give me the physical, actual server with a GUI representing as close to a hypervisor that allows me to create my environment. And this one, they give me a GUI, but it's to help create applications. I'll show you exactly one, one right, right now. Let's see, where is he? 
What's his name? Here's one of them right here. But oh, why I'm misreading these questions. WordPress is a is a website where I can create my own websites. They have their own little templates and everything in here, or I can simply copy and paste my information into their GUI and it's up. They're in charge completely of maintaining the server, of making sure that, that it's always available. All I have to do is give them the code. That is platform as a service versus infrastructure as a service. They've given me only the appliance and now I have to do everything. I think that. Uh, that. Hello, can you hear me now? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Understood yeah. the difference between IAAS and PAAS. So, so like I, IAAS is just here's the here's the tech you do your thing. PAAS is here's the tech will take care of the intricacies. SAAS is and the replies and then is we'll do the whole thing you're just paying us for this service i i guess what's like what i don't get or what's getting me confused with that question specifically uh-huh it's the fact that it's saying the vendor will provide their hardware platform right so then in the infrastructure is a service it says the vendor provides the hardware platform or data center so that's already a, a prerequisite that's already qualified. And then it says, but the company will install and manage its own operating systems. So that's the what company saying. that it's, the company, not the vendor and the company are different. I, I think, I think what I, cause I, when I read this the first time, I was like, Oh, the company. Is yeah. The, that's what I'm saying. Company. So, like, the, the company it, isn't the company equivalent to a client. Yes. In yeah. this sense. Exactly. So then in, in the in the infrastructure uh, part of it, it says client installs and manages its own operating systems and applications, yeah. which is what it's saying there. The company yeah. will install and manage its own operating systems and applications. Yeah. That's literally that what it's saying there. So why is it PAS? I, no, I misread it. That was my fault. That's why I, I don't get it because it, it literally says everything that IAS is saying, but why is it PAS? Uh, which one? Number five or four? No, number four. Number four. Number four is IAAS. Which one you guys have? Oh, I thought you guys were saying PAS. Oh. Yeah, like I said, I said that that was my mistake at first. Wait, I I'm the confused. Which one is which then? Because uh -huh. I think I'm now making it more mixed up for myself. Four is I I A A S infrastructure. Yeah, I'm gonna okay, just call then. it infrastructure. Yeah, service. Say infrastructure because when you give the Nylans, they sound similar. So I'm like, which one's yeah. which? Yeah, I yeah. think four is infrastructure. That's the answer. So right? it's not platform then. Oh, no. That's what I was no. tripping out. Yeah, that was my. That was my. Same thing. All right, guys. You can see my screen here of my beautiful little drawing and everything. This is as simple as I can put it. IAAS requires you to hire people that are full hands-on, need to do everything. The techs need to create the virtual environment. They need to create the servers, the network, every single aspect that is required to actually create this virtual environment, that's IAAS. All they're giving you is access to their software to be able to create whatever you want. If you only want it, to be used internally in your network. It's not a web server, it's not anything except for just it's hosted on this cloud, fine and dandy. But you are fully responsible for everything, even backup of all data. Platform as a server, the provider gives you the OS already. They're responsible of maintaining the OS. They're gonna give you everything. All they do is give you a platform for you to post your code. They're maintaining everything. Now you don't need all these savvy techs. I know how to go and program a router, how to create a proxy, how to create a firewall. None of that mumbo jumbo is needed. 
All I'm going to do is give you the code, post it. Dale pa'lante. Next level of service is software as a service. You do nothing except for use the software. Absolutely nothing except for that. It's as simple as I could put it. There's nothing else. That's the major variance and the easiest way to tell which one is with. Yeah, I think we all just got confused saying the names and then no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, it gets confusing because especially the names and all that stuff, it gets very, very confusing. Check Any other questions? Button. Did that help? That little description mm -hmm. there? All right. Woohoo! All right. So we got number five. Mm -hmm. the, this service model allows the creation of web applications quickly and easily and without the complexity of buying and maintaining the software and infrastructure underneath it. Is, uh, is that one Sass. infrastructure? Okay, which do you uh, say? Software as a service. Software. Software. Yes, software as a service. All right. Number six. In this system model, a third party vendor may provide your entire email system. So, pass. SAS, right? Yeah. SAS. All right. All right. Our variances now of public private hybrid community. That all depends on, again, on cost and or your choice. If you want it to be a public cloud so that the company if, uh, is hosting and managing and everything so that everybody can see it. For instance, if you're selling stuff uh, like eBay or something like that and you want it to be uh, available, then you will be pub uh, it will be public. Now, if you only want it for, for it to be in internal, all your accounting systems and or other systems that you have, that will be in a private cloud. There will be no way that anybody can get in there. It would, it, it would basically create a, a intranet for you in the cloud environment. A lot of uh, these companies also can, can use a, either a cloud environment within their own data center where they buy everything, or they'll pay for a private, for an actual vendor to give them a private cloud. So I have a question. Mm -hmm. So would a VPN essentially be... Um... Um, oh yeah, I forgot what I was going to say. It's not a cloud. It's just a network. A VPN is okay, a connection. Yeah, so a VPN is not a, it's not, it can be a cloud um, server. It's only a tunnel that connects two networks, virtual yeah. private network. But you can have, you can have a cloud in a virtual box, right? Huh? Or like yeah, a virtual these, these are virtual box. machines. And virtual machine. everything is a virtual machine here. Right. Okay. It's virtually, you're, you're connecting to to a machine, and they're giving you different different services in, in these virtual machines. Because if it's a public one, they're gonna uh, they'll let it be shared by by everyone, not just you. Yeah. The private one that again, a company that hosts the environment itself, as I stated and they deploy, manage, and secure solution. Hybrid is where you have a private cloud uh, with a uh, public cloud environment where, you know, part of your, your actual cloud environment is private, which might have the part for accounting versus the part that you want that will be public and having maybe some certain type of application out there or web, web application or whatever it is that you have as being hosted out in the internet. The community one, that one's very, very, very dangerous. The solution is shared by multiple organizations, usually universities and or organizations like uh, World Health Organization, lack of a better uh, example, may have a community cloud because all different organizations together uh, are have a joint venture or project to be able to share the cloud. Any questions or doubts on the types of clouds? Um. Yeah, question about community. Is it possible for community to be like hybrid, private, or public, depending on what the community wants to do? No, community is community. This is solution is basically through multiple organizations. Uh, that's like, like say, for instance, maybe uh, USPS, DHL, FedEx, and UPS, and all these world 
uh, guys that, that uh, deal with shipping decided to unite in, on a joint project to figure out what's the best planes available or some, something like that, that would be a community cloud between those organizations only. That's the community so that, cloud between all of them. So that means that it can never be a hybrid or public or private because it's like a clubs only, right? Like only they are allowed? Yeah. In other words, it's for that community to share resources. A hybrid. Now, obviously, a hybrid means that it's going to be partly private, public, partly public. Your, your information that's most sensitive to you that you don't want to be leaked, you're going to keep it on the private cloud, while whatever it is that you want to be public out there, you'll keep it on the, uh, on the public cloud. So that you don't have to have a server in your computer or a web server in your house, I mean, in your data center. About that. Now, features of the cloud, number 15 here, on-demand self-service. That's in basically what it means. Users can access additional processing storage on their own demand and have capabilities automatically without innovation from the service provider. So I don't have to go to him and say, please, can you give me this now? Can you do this? No. On demand. I actually go log in and do whatever I want. Rapid elasticity. That actually is a pretty good one because he actually, instead of uh, purchasing so many gigs of space, Rapid elasticity is able to scale up resources instantly to cope with peak demand. So if I have a whole bunch of users now that want to connect, it'll actually create enough resources to be able to do that. And again, it'll shrink just like a rubber band. That's why it's called elastic. Because as soon as that, the demand stops, it'll then lower the, the, the resources needed. Resource pooling is in that exact manner. It means that Resources are stored in pools and shared across multiple customers. Typical pool of resources is memory, network bandwidth, storage, and processing power. That means that you actually share everything between all customers. Measured service. This is obviously monitored by the provider, reported back to the client, and then charged based on the usage of whatever services that they're getting. Broadband, sorry, broad network access is the cloud capabilities are able to access over the network from different clients such as workstations, phones, and laptops, any different types. Usual common access is a web browser. Next slide, if there's no questions on this one. We have IAAS or HAAS, as someone, uh, some of you have uh, already alluded to, infrastructure as a service or hardware as a service. Company has more control, obviously, and they're able to secure and ensure that everything is up to date to their standards. Platform as a service, you do not have control of the infrastructure. And obviously you have, uh, to place the coding and everything in their platform itself. Software as a service, basically you take it as is, you don't do anything as I stated before. I have a question, Diego. Mm -hmm. I thought Salesforce was more of a software as a service since, well, when I use it, I don't really have control over the code. Is there somebody above me that has access to that the code? Your company is in charge of, of speaking with Salesforce or and or coding Salesforce to their liking. Every Salesforce site is completely different. I have a Salesforce site that I log on and it looks nothing like yours. But there is, they may pay a, either a, tail, a third party to configure it inside Salesforce or they might even pay Salesforce to do it. But it is platform as a service. Oh, that explains a lot for me right now. What you want. Remember, because I can change the code as I want, it has to be platform as a service. If I can't change the code and I have to take it as it is, salesforce.com would be useless and it wouldn't be what it is now because it's a cookie cutter for everybody. It's the exact same thing. This is Salesforce. Yeah, you use it exactly how it is. But it's not like that. Salesforce, you, you can actually use it as you want and design it as the needs of your company. 
Thank you, Diego. No problem. We got one minute and I'm dying here. Any questions about the issues? All right, security risks in the cloud. Session writing is when attacker steals your cookie and uses the application in the name of the user it stole from. Virtual machine escapes where attacker obviously can act, um, when attacker can take advantage of the vulnerability of a hypervisor, then it can actually escape from there, from the sandbox environment and gain to all other machines in there. Reliability and data protection. Cloud service is expected always to be available and protected. It is imperative to find a reputable company that is ensuring the safety of your stuff. And now, now, here we are. Who's the brave soul? Number one. Cloud computing provides multiple advantages. Which of the which of the below elements is best described by a service's ability to be scaled up or down quickly as the needs changes for a particular user without requiring costly hardware changes? Okay. Uh, I remember. I'm sorry, oh, I couldn't hear. Or Delta. Delta. Agree. Delta. Delta? That is correct. Re rapid elasticity is a one. Number two. DeAndre. I gotcha. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the name of the cloud based data storage service provided by Microsoft? Is it OneDrive? Correct. You want to agree, right? Number three. Your employer Please. wants you to. Hey, Pablo, oh. sorry. Go ahead. Your employer wants you to recommend the cloud service. She wants to be provided by a preloaded OS ready to be configured as a, as a database and for them to provide the entire service. She wants the employees to be given access to do an email login. What type of cloud service is she looking for? Okay. So. Um, so she wants them to provide the entire service, so that means they are going to give her a software as a service. Everyone agree? I agree. All right. Four. Who's our brave soul? Which of these cloud types would be most closely associated with the internet? I guess public. B. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> yes, public. <laughs> I'm scared. Are you guys are scaring me? <laughs> yeah, the public is the internet, right? All right. <laughs> you guys had me scared there for a second. Number five. Five. You have been asked to identify the right type of cloud service to help the team of developers to provide programming elements such as runtime environments. Which service do you recommend? Uh, pass. Platform as a service. Everyone yes, agree? I agree on that. Yeah. All right. Platform. Good job, guys. Real good job. Awesome. That's pretty much our session for here. Any uh, other questions before we conclude? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me.